The meter is the base unit of length used in the majority of the world. But it's a long time for people to agree on just how long it should be. Measurements of length were originally based on the human body, like the length of a foot or the span of a hand. This could lead to confusion as these lengths varied from person to person. In ancient Egypt, the base unit of length was a cubit, a measurement that varied depending on the length of a person's forearms, hands and palms. To avoid these variations in length, the Egyptians created a standard royal cubit. Copies of this cubit were produced in granite and distributed to standardize measurement. This system allowed construction to flourish in the region. Similar systems developed around the world, but they tended to be specific to a region, making trading difficult. By the 18th century, in France alone, there were over 800 different names for measures. The variances in these measures meant there were around 250,000 different units of measurement. A standard measurement needed to be found, the meter. It was decided that the meter should be a length that was the same the whole world over. A meter would be one ten millionth of the distance from the North Pole to the equator. This was calculated using trigonometry and an official meter bar was created in Paris in 1795. Using the decimal system, other lengths could be calculated simply from the new meter. The meter became the international standard for length, but was redefined more accurately in 1983. We now define one meter as the distance which light travels in a vacuum in a little over 300 millionths of a second. Good day, everyone. I am Roman and I'm going to discuss the topic about English to metric system. To start off, let us define what the metric in English system is all about. Metric system, the international system of units, which is now called SI, had its origin when the meter was selected as the unit of length and kilogram as the unit of mass. December 23, 1975, Metric Bill was signed into law in the United States to convert all measurements into the metric system. The metric system is widely used nowadays and it is commonly represents most of the measurements. English system. Majority of people in English speaking countries are familiar to the English unit system. For example, length equals inch, time equals second, Weight equals pound. Complete documentation of Boeing aircrafts are made in the English unit system. Since the Boeing industry originated from an English nation workers from the aviation industry were accustomed to using the English system than the metric system. Some of the measurements used when calculated by many have chance to show a very large or very small number which gives them a hard time to read it. And to solve this problem, it can be represented by the number prefix table. The number prefix table starts with a basic unit, then for example, if the calculation reaches up to a million, the basic unit is multiplied by 10 raised to the sixth, which will represent the six zeros that has in it. If the calculations 
resulted a very small number. For example, to its nanodecimal, the basic unit is multiplied by 10 raised to the negative 9. Temperature unit. Temperature is the degree of the unit or cold measurable in a body values is expressed in degree Fahrenheit or Celsius. Fahrenheit unit. In the English-American unit system, all the temperatures are given in degrees Fahrenheit. Celsius unit. In the metric system, the temperatures are given in degrees Celsius. One of the measurements that is used in the aviation field is the temperature. Example is oil temperature and cylinder head temperature. To convert the type of scale to the other, we use the following formula. If the Celsius is given and you wish to convert it to Fahrenheit, the computation will be 9 over 5 multiplied by the sum of the given Celsius and 32. If the Fahrenheit is given and you wish to convert it to Celsius, the computation will be 5 over 9 multiplied by the difference of the given Fahrenheit and 32. For example, number 1, the given is 63 Fahrenheit. To convert, you perform the formula which is 5 over 9 multiplied by the difference of 63 and 32. And you'll get an answer of 17.2 degrees Celsius. For the example number 2, the given is 27 degrees Celsius. To convert it to Fahrenheit, we'll perform the formula which is 9 over 5 multiplied by the sum of 27 and 32. And you'll get an answer of 80.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Originally, the units inch, foot, yards, and miles were not exact multiples or factors of another. But for the sake of convenience, the foot was made equal to 12 inches yard equals 32 feet, miles equals 5,200 feet, or 1,760 yard. The nautical mile used international for navigation is based on 1 60th of one degree of the Earth's circumferences of the equator. Because of an increase in travel, international commerce, and scientific exchanges, there is a need for standardization of measurements which takes place through the use of metric system. A linear dimensions of bowing drawings are inches and decimal fractions to clearly specify the degree of accuracy required for a given dimension. Bowing system of dimensioning is unit of 10, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, and so on. Each unit will, when multiplied by 10, falls into the category of the next larger unit or when divided by 10 into the next lower unit. The basic unit of measurement in the metric system is the meter. The length of a meter is based on a distance equal to one tenth millionth of the distance from the equator to the poles measured alongside meridian and the meridian being the shortest distance along the Earth's surface and at the right angles to the equator. Most commonly used are the millimeter, centimeter, meter, and kilometer. The following shows how the units of length are related. 10 millimeters equals 1 centimeter, 10 centimeters equals 1 decimeter, 10 decimeter equals 1 meter, 10 hectometers equals 1 kilometer. For sheet metal work, all hole size, material, gauges, and all dimensions, etc., are given in inches and must be often converted to the metric system. For example, 1 inches equals 25.4 millimeter. So here are some examples of conversion, conversion of this metric system. One half is equals to 25.4 divided by 2, and you get 12.7 mm. 
And lastly, we have decimal and metric equivalents. Here are the showed table. Thank you for listening. Fly high! Avators!